Hello, my name is Chris Wright from One Spatial. Here at One Spatial, we believe that Geocortex Essentials helps you do more with ArcGIS web mapping technologies faster, at less cost, and at less risk, and we believe better. One Spatial is the UK and Ireland distributor for Geocortex Essentials. We have a wide ranging, large, and growing portfolio of users, including the Environment Agency, United Utilities, Lambeth Borough Council, and Royal Sun Alliance, to name but a few. Today I'm going to talk about workflows and how standard functionality can be extended. Working with our existing One Spatial Geocortex customers, we have identified a number of opportunities to extend the out-of-the-box functionality from Latitude Geographics. One of the requests has been to have a Find My Nearest function that can be used in workflows. Whilst it's often local authorities that have a particular need for this type of search and query, it's equally useful to any type of organisation looking for assets close to a location for example, find my nearest doctors, find my nearest hydrant, or indeed find my nearest asset. The team here at One Spatial has created some specific workflow activities that can be added to any version of Geocortex Essentials Workflow Designer. If you like what you see at the end of this video, you can request the kit from One Spatial for inclusion in your installation of Geocortex. I will now show you how these activities can be included in a workflow. First of all, I'm going to open up my workflow designer. And you can see that if I scroll to the bottom of the activities, there are now some new activities that have been inserted under a one spatial tab. Find my nearest, get dictionary of layer names, get extent and measure distance. These can be used in workflows to enable the user to find a nearest object from a given point. So I'm going to open up an existing workflow that I've created that we will supply to users. You can see that my workflow consists of a number of sequences. There is a sequence for you to define where your rest endpoints are. There is a sequence for clicking on the map so that a user is asked to click on the map and this is where we are going to do our search from. Then there is a sequence that gathers the layers that are available to use and presents them to, you, to the user in a list for the user to select a layer. We then take the start point and buffer it by a set amount. Uh, this is initially set to a thousand meters but you can change this. We find all of the objects within that buffer and then we pass them into our get nearest function which uses the find nearest from our one spatial set and returns us our nearest object. Having done that we then just display that object and what we do is we make sure that the clicked point and the object that we're searching for are displayed on the map at the same time. So now let's go and add this to a site and see the workflow in action. So in order to do this we first open up a site we then go to our workflows tab and we add a workflow we give the workflow a display name I'm going to call it find and then we browse to the workflow that we've created. We then save our site. So the workflow is now in our site, so we ne now need to add it to our viewer. I'm going to add it to my Silverlight viewer. So I edit the Silverlight viewer and I'm going to add it to my I want to menu. I'm going to add a menu item. I'm going to type in the text that the users will see. So I'm going to say find my nearest asset. 
I'm then going to run my workflow by ID and I'm going to type in the parameter for the workflow which is find. Optionally I can now add in an icon if I wish otherwise I can just OK and you'll notice that my find my nearest is at the bottom of the list I might want to move it to the top of my list. I then click apply changes and then save site. So my workflow is now registered in my viewer which is registered to my site. So I can now call up the viewer and use this new workflow that we've implemented. To use the workflow I select find my nearest asset from the I want to menu. I'm then prompted to click on the map. I'm going to click here. A blue dot appears and then a list of layers that I can query from appear. I select a layer, in this case building asset, and then select the next button. We now go and do a query, find the nearest building asset, and we highlight the building asset and the blue dot on the map. So we have our yellow building here and we have our blue dot where we clicked on the map. And that's essentially how we have been able to extend the workflow activities to deliver a, a find my nearest function inside a workflow. My name is Chris Wright from One Spatial. You can get in touch with us by using the details on the screen. Thanks for listening.